If you want to get a lot of small things organized into a little drawer organizer, then check out this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have lots of little stuff. And for me, I actually want to organize my golf gear, my grips, my weights, my screws, my adapters, sleeves, golf balls, those types of things. And so I picked this up. You can use it for anything, art supplies, craft supplies, sewing, knitting, model making, other hobbies. But it has a bunch of drawers. It's pretty inexpensive. But I think it'll make it a lot easier to find the stuff that you need, put everything that's related together, whether it's kind of small tools or supplies. So let's get it unboxed and set up and check it out. Okay, got it unboxed. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. We have the two sides here. These curved handles kind of represent the outsides. Then we have this middle one. There's actually two towers of drawers. I think this is that top piece. We have casters here. We have hardware right there. We also have the assembly guide and then we have some crossbars right there. And then we have this other box filled with the plastic drawers. So like I said, two columns of drawers. So I'm just going to peruse the instructions and then let's get this thing set up. Okay, the first thing we have to do is put the A's and these are the A pieces here, these little black plastic plugs that go into the bottom of the legs and they come with the casters here because you're going to, after you put those in, just push these casters with the post right up into the A. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is install these crossbars and this is the middle piece and you can see it has slots for the drawers on both sides. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab these smaller posts that kind of look like giant straws and they are gonna go like this on the bottom here. So there's gonna be four of them, one on either side of these posts on both legs. Now the way you're gonna attach these are with these kind of long crazy looking bolts. So you're gonna drop one through here and now you'll have an equal amount of threading on either side of this post. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this pole right here and put it on there and screw it down and then screw the other one on the other side and do that to both sides. All right, lower crossbars are on. So now we need to put on these upper ones. These are the full length ones. So they are gonna go on right here, just like that one on either side here. And then from the screw standpoint, you are gonna need these D screws. So grab a couple of D's, get your hands on the D. Comes with a little Allen key there. Let's get these on. All right, now we're going to attach the sides. So you wanna make sure that these little slots, the where the drawers will go into will always be on the inside. And then you're gonna use those same D screws to go through here. Now, a little bit of word of warning. I'm gonna to have to correct this, but on the center piece here, you can see that we have some shallow drawers because these rails are close together. And then we have some deep drawers. And so what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna put the shallow end on the outside here. So you wanna make sure that you use the side with the really spaced out rails to match up with the really spaced out rails up here. And then this one is actually gonna go on this side. So the really shallow rails right here will all match up. And then once you get that side on, you're gonna put on this side the exact same way, same D screws right here. And then you're gonna feel like a pro at putting these on, but then you won't have any more sides to put on. So it's one part exciting and then one part disappointing. All right, the structure has been assembled. Now we just pop the casters in here and then we'll just be able to put it up on the floor and finish the assembly. And now we can put on this top. It's actually pretty easy. The edges are rolled here. So you really just kind of lay it down on the top bars here and then snap it on around these bars. So now we're left with the little drawer handles and a lot of these little screws and then the drawers themselves. Obviously there's a hole right there in the front. So all you're going to do is assemble the handle here. You can just hold this in and spin the handle on so you don't even need a power tool. And now we've got a handle. Then you just put it on the shallow side here. You can see how these rails are for the shallow ones. The deeper ones will go over here. Now, one thing I will say is that uh, they have these little tabs so that they won't slide out the back, but the rails go all the way through the back. So if you want your shallow trays on this side, that's fine. And then your deep trays will be like this. But if you don't, then just swivel this around and put them however you want, because you could slide them in from the other side there too. So let's get it finished. Here it is all finished. You can definitely put some stuff up here on the top, but obviously I want to start putting some stuff away. And so these big drawers are for big things like golf grips, but then these nice little thin drawers can be for thin things. So 
now I can keep all my golf gear nice and organized, but art supplies, magazines, arts and crafts, your crayons, colored pencils, paints, tools, home hardware, whatever it might be. If you want to pick up this rolling organizer for your stuff, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can